Hey hello guys welcome to learn eternity a platform to learn anything anytime In this tutorial we are going to learn about nouns in bootstrap So nouns are basically useful in order to work with the noun bar So the sticky menu bar that available at the top of each website is known as nav bar and in that case we can use a nouns in order to work with the nav bar so there are a couple of things that we are going to learn inside the nav okay so let me go ahead and uh, create one document so i have created one document with the HT, uh, html uh, template and i have linked the bootstrap.css linked the javascript.js uh, js and the jquery file okay so these are the topic that we are going to uh, cover in this tutorial so let me go ahead and uh, uh, show that topic that we are going to learn okay so the first topic that we are going to learn is creating a nav tabs okay so that is basically a tabular uh, form of the nav's okay the next thing that we are going to learn is nav tag so nav tag is basically a class that allows you to deal with the nav tabs in a really good way okay the next way of representing a nav is a nav fills so what do you mean by nav fills is that uh, the, it is a one variant of a tabs that uh, nav fills can be used as a menu bar inside the nav bar okay the nav justify is a one property that available in the nav that allows you to make a nav justified okay uh, the next thing that we are going to use is how we can use a drop down inside the nav nows and how we can use a nav fills and inside the drop down inside the nav fills so these are the things that we are going to cover in this tutorial okay so let's get started with the first thing that is a nav tab so in order to create a nav tabs we have to create a ul ally element okay so i'm just creating an uh, unordered list in unordered list you have to pass a class of now and the class of now dash tabs okay so this class use in order to create a tabs in bootstrap so we have to provide some list item in order to display inside these tabs so i'm just creating a number of list item that can be displayed in the case of now in bootstrap so this is a home about us and contact us of course you have to write a role for this that is a present presentation okay so let me go ahead and copy this this rule is just for displaying and uh, getting and assigning a role to the list item you also can provide a ahref in order to make that as a link okay so let me go ahead and uh, display it as a link okay so once you do that you just have to save this document and just go ahead and refresh so as you can see we have created this a uh, tabular form in nows the one thing that we can use in the case of now tabs that is uh, active so if you want to display a certain tab to be active then we can use a class called active so i'm just displaying a class assigning a class of active to home ally okay so just go ahead and refresh so as you can see the tab is now active so the working of this tab that is click of this tab is not going to work over here for that we have to work with the javascript of the tabs so in the future coming videos we are going to learn uh, what uh, what are the elements that require a javascript and how to deal with the javascript in bootstrap okay so this is how we create a tabs in nows the next thing that we have is a nav stack 
so in order to deal with the now stack what we can do is that we have to i'm just copying this now instead of recreating it so in order to deal with the now stack you just have to add one property one class that is called as a now stack to this url so i'm just passing a class called now stack okay so once you do that just go ahead and flash so let me just go ahead and cut this class over here okay so once you do that just go ahead and save the file okay. so as you can see let me change that okay so as you can see the now tabs are now stacked together okay so stacking of this now part is how it works now next thing that we are going to learn is working with the pills so what do you mean by pills in order to create a now pills let me go ahead and copy this now bar now elements okay so in order to work with the now pills you just have to use now pills as a class okay so just just go ahead and use the now pills as a class and i'm just going and refreshing the page so as you can see this is the look of the now pills if you wanted to display a now pills in a stack you just have to copy this bit of code and you just have to provide a now stacked inside this so if you go ahead and refresh you will see this is a now stack let me go ahead and break this now so you can get a better idea okay so this is how it works this is a now stacked okay another class that we have in case of navigation now is called as a now justified okay so in order to work with this you just have to add a class called as a now justified okay so let me go ahead and copy this bit of code and add a now justified class okay so once you do that just go ahead and save and refresh let me just go ahead and check i'm working with the so let me remove this now stack and let me pass over here a now of tabs and then now of justified so according to your requirement i'm just using a now tabs instead of using a now pills okay and processing a now justified class okay so once you do that just go ahead and refresh so as you can see this now is now justified and covered the entire space of the class md6 okay so this is how it works with the now justified the next thing that we are going to learn is how we can add a drop down inside a now tab so in order to uh, do that let me go ahead and copy this now tab first okay so once you add that uh, i'm going to add the drop down to the last element so in, in order to add a drop down to the last element or any element you just have to pass the ally with the class of a drop down okay so once you do that you just have to create a anchor tag which will be used in order to display that uh, in order to click and get the drop down menu below okay so i'm using a class called drop down toggle so if, if you haven't uh, checked my drop down tutorial then just go ahead and check out that so in order to create the drop down you just create an anchor tag with the drop down toggle okay 
and you just have to create uh, create a new attribute called as a data toggle with the value of drop down okay once you create that you just have to create a what you can see a menu okay so i'm just writing a drop down and you have to create one caret symbol with the help of helper class that is called as a caret so i'm just using the class of caret okay so once you do that uh, that's it what you want to do let me create a ulli element in order to display that elements inside this so i'm using a class of drop down menu okay so inside the drop down menu you have to create a li elements okay so i'm using this action one i'm using this as action two okay so let me go ahead and save this and let me change this reflect okay just save that and just go ahead and refresh so as you can see we have the drop down uh, with this uh, navbar okay so the content of the navbar is not uh, displaying as per nearly because we haven't gave any h a href tag so let me give a href tag to this okay and to this so once you do that just go ahead and refresh and as you can see we have successfully implemented drop down inside the nav we can also implement the drop down inside the pills so let me just go ahead and grab this code again over here and add now pills instead of using nav tabs okay so let me go ahead and save that refresh so as you can see we are using a drop down inside the nav pills so this is how it works this is uh, how you can work with the nav tabs nav pills inside bootstrap so that's it for this tutorial hope you understand everything if you have any doubts feel free to comment below please like this video and subscribe to our channel to stay tuned till then see ya